Hi, uh, good morning. It's um, it's Monday, January 14th, um, and uh, I thought I'd record uh, this uh, this first video just to introduce myself to the class, uh, given that we're not going to be meeting in person. Um, and, you know, just so you could see my face, nothing special, and maybe tell you a little bit about myself and a little bit about the class before we actually launch into the first lecture. Uh, so, first of all, I want to welcome everyone to uh, the semester's class in sustainability modeling. Um, my name is uh, Fernando Miralles uh, Willem. Um, I'm a professor um, in the Department of Earth and Environment at Florida International University. Um, I also uh, work um, as a lead specialist at the Inter-American Development Bank in Washington, so I sort of split my time between uh, Miami and Washington, D.C. Big reason why um, I'm not offering this class in regular format is that I I'm constant traveling, um, so I thought this format would be better. I also wanted to try it out, to be honest. Um, um, tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a hydrologist by training, um, um, and um, a hydrologist and an engineer by training, I should say. Um, my 20-year career, yeah, I am getting old. Uh, it's been split in between industry, roughly about five years when I started out, um, and uh, I've done uh, about 12 years in academia altogether, and maybe another three in government, uh, more more recently with the IDB in Washington. Um, and my core expertise is modeling, uh, which is the part of the reason I want to teach this class. Um, <clears throat> you know, like I said, uh, this class uh, will uh, not be meet in person, um, and so this is probably the only face-to-face uh, we'll get or I'll get with most of you unless I, you know, I might meet, may be able to meet in person with some of you over the course of the semester. Some of you know me already, so you've met me before. Uh, so we'll be meeting virtually, so not in the classroom. And um, the idea of this class was to try really a new subject, um, which I'll tell you about <coughs> in, in the first lecture. Um, and we took the opportunity also to do it in a new format. Uh, so in essence, um, we're all part of a, an experiment, I, and I hope you're, you're game for that. It can be a lot of fun, and it can be a lot of learning. Um, I think it all goes well. Um, we, will, we won't meet in person, like I said. Um, we won't exchange a single piece of paper, and all of our discussions in the class will have a record, which I think it's, um, it'll be very valuable for not only for you, but for other folks that take this class. So this is a really a new era of uh, sharing knowledge and information. Um, I can tell you a little bit more about myself if you want to know. Um, I was born in 1966. Uh, the reason I say that is not because I want you to know my age. We can, you can do the math fairly quickly. But because I've always said that, one or not, we are a product of our times. And, and for me, this meant um, growing up um, in, in times where the environmental movement or environmental awareness, uh, you know, became sort of became mainstream. Um, one of the, um, one of the uh, events or, or the pieces of work that made most of the mark on me, and I think it's really behind the idea of launching this class, was a study that came out uh, in 1972, which was called Limits to Growth. And we'll talk a little bit about more about this in this class and in this lecture. But the reason I wanted to mention limits to growth is because um, it sort of caught up with me in college, um, and I think it was the first uh, serious attempt at doing at using models to explain sustainability issues uh, back in the 70s. Uh, it's it actually just turned 40, uh, 40 years uh, last year. That this study um, there was also. Um, a 30-year update that to limits to growth that was published in 2000, which will which will um, uh, uh, deal with and talk about in this class and, and read ex excerpts of, from it. Um, and since 2000, uh, so for the past 10 years, I've been thinking about um, doing a class like this. And the reason I I hadn't done it before is I, I think um, there were a few things. I, th I think the tools uh, weren't there. Um, to really do a class like this, uh, the simulation tool. So we're going to be using a piece of software that I, that I like very much, and I've been using it uh, for research purposes. And I thought, you know, this will be great for a class, which is Vensim. And I'll tell you a little bit about this in the class. Um, and I think the other piece um, 
that, that sort of deviated my intentions to do this class for about a decade is that, you know, when, when you're in academia like I was, and, and last decade was particularly uh, busy for me in, you know, getting my, my academic career settled and, uh, you know, going through the ranks and doing all these things uh, that um, professors have to do. Um, but now that I've sort of, um, you know, gotten out of that a little bit, uh, well, a little bit gotten out of about on the at, at that mode. Um, uh, I, I thought, you know, wow, this could be, you know, this could be a, a great opportunity to do this class. And, and the thing that clicked it for me was that last year in 2011, a, an additional um, uh, piece of literature came out. Um, uh, Professor Ugo Bardi from Italy published um, a Limits to Growth Revisited, uh, which is an, another reference that we'll discuss in class. Um, and um, it's remarkable to see how a study that was done 40 years ago got so many things right. Um, um, and uh, I mean, there were a few things that were wrong, and we'll talk about those too. Um, but that made me think, you know, these models actually could be useful, and they, they do a pretty decent job. And, and boy, this would make a fantastic class. So that's sort of where we're at. And I, that's why, so this class is brand new. Um, and um, I'm really excited about it, as you can see. And hopefully you'll be as excited about it as, as, as I am. Uh, so without further ado, I think we'll I'll leave it at that. Uh, and we'll, um, I think I'll let you, um, you know, flip over to uh, the first lecture video. Okay, so welcome. Thanks a lot. And, um, and uh, I'll see you uh, this way. Take care.